Look at those gorgeous almonds. Are you surprised? You're probably used to seeing the tan round almond that I've been talking about for so many years. Um, after eating thousands of kilos of my favorite almond, I know I'm not supposed to say that because I sell other almonds. And last week we talked about the wonderfully floral redolent um, pizzutas, but the Marcona still has my heart. Softer, rounder, um, but if we love them skins off fried and salted, why wouldn't we love them skin on? So I started to eat them raw with the skin. And then I uh, wanted to do a, a trial because all of the skinless, all of the peeled Marconas fried and salted are done with sunflower oil because I didn't want using olive oil, one, which has to be done at a lower boiling point. And two, um, I didn't want that flavor to overpower the nut. So somehow by having that gorgeous skin, like a little bit more tannin to, um, to the nut gives you a little bit more texture to fry it in olive oil and have the salt. And for some people who don't like so much oil in the big five kilo tubs that we sell of the other Marconas, this has less oil because it's packed in a bag. But just to say that those of you who sell Marconas and get frustrated sometimes, if there might be a little more oil than you want in the bottom of the tub, let me explain to you why it's there. When I first started looking for Marconas and I didn't know the name, it took me 10 years to find out what they were called. And that was thanks to a company in Spain where I went on a, a visit and I learned about calibrating almonds, that there were hundreds of different varieties of almonds and finally learned that the one I loved in Spain was called the Marcona. And that the Marcona almond only flowers in March, oh, excuse me, only flowers in February, whereas all the other almonds um, flower in March. So it's a much more delicate product. Um, in February, there's much more likelihood for freezes, for sleet, for something that can kill off those flowers and for there to be a poor crop a lower crop or something that happens. And so it's very volatile. And that's one of the things that um, caused such a high price of the Marcona almonds. I also learned that the Marcona always should be fried and not toasted because toasting it is at a higher point and more heat and you'll damage it. So you want to fry it and you want to fry it in small batches. Um, when I started to, I went to the States, started to look around because I wanted to bring these in and I wanted to see if they existed. I found them in a few places only and I found them in retail packages and I found them usually hidden on somebody's shelf. And when I opened them and tasted them, it tasted like sawdust. And that's because the salt was all on the bottom. They were dry and I didn't want such a beautiful product to, to have my name on it and end up like that. So. Um, we agreed with the producer that we'd make bulk packages and we'd put, add some olive oil to them and that we'd ship it that way so that people could flip the buckets, flip, 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 and the oil would always go evenly as much as possible over all of the almonds and keep them moist and with the salt on. And you can't sit there with an eyedropper because imagine the cost of your product if you got that. And the almond actually like absorbs um, or absorbs the oil. So you actually don't know what remains and what doesn't remain because you don't know what it's going to absorb. So those are all the different variables why you don't know. But the I'd rather have more than less because you can always drain that if you need to drain it. But if you don't have enough, then the salt's going to fall off and they're going to taste kind of stale. With the Marcona, with the skins, they seem to have a little bit more base, like I said, they're protected more and they're in a bag. So the oil kind of stays more evenly coated. And then you have that nice, beautiful olive oil on it. So I hope that it's not the first time for a lot of you, but if it is, I hope that you found another new addictive snack to go with because we're forever always trying to increase people's awareness of it. Because sometimes I'll put the skin on with the skin off and do different um, color you know, patterns with it, because as I'm thinking about a cheese plate, I'm thinking about what looks beautifully as well as what tastes beautifully. So it's nice to have some of, you know, the peeled and fried. It's nice to have some with the skins or just to change it out because people know one thing and give you something else. Um, 